Welcome to this paper, the video solution to BEC 2020 Mathematics Paper 2. In this video, we'll be solving question 1 ABC, that is part ABC. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also. Our second channel. Now, the first part of question one A. If m is equal to prime integers between 1 and 11, and n is equal to factors of 12, find i m union n i i m intersection n so first let us list the elements of set m set m is prime integers between 1 and 11 the same as prime numbers between 1 and 11 so prime numbers between 1 and 11 are 2, 3, 5, and 7. Now the second set is factors of 12. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 itself. The i part requires that we find m union n. So m union n refers to elements that are in m or n or both of them. But in listing them, we don't repeat any of the numbers or we don't repeat any of the elements. So these elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 12. So this is the set M union N. The II, M intersection N. So M intersection N are elements that are common to both sets. Elements that are common to both sets. So as we can see, there's two here, there's two here, there's three here, there's three here. Mm, we don't have any other element that is common. Therefore, M intersection N is 2, 3. Now let's proceed. So this is the C part of the question. In the diagram, X, Y, and Z are angles on a straight line. If X degrees plus, if X degrees is to Z degrees is equal to 2 is to 3, and Y is equal to 80 degrees, find the value of X. So let's begin the solution. We know that The sum of angles on a straight line will give us 180 degrees. That is what we know. So let us write that in now. So x plus y plus z is equal to 180 degrees. Now what else can we get from the question? From the question we are told that y is equal to 80 degrees. So what do we do? Let's put y here. So x plus 80 plus z equal 180. Can we simplify this? Yes. So let's subtract 80 from both sides. Then we get x plus z is equal to 180 minus 80 degrees. So 180 degrees minus 80 degrees is equal to 100 degrees. 
now what are we looking for we are looking for x and um, we know that x plus z all have a total of 100 degrees angle so it's like x and z are sharing an angle of 100 degrees in the ratio 2 is to 3 so that is how you can think of it so that you can do it and understand the solution so there are other ways of doing it but i think this way will be okay for you you can think of it as x and z are sharing an angle 100 degrees good and in what ratio 2 is to 3 so x share is what we are looking for so x share we are sharing it in the ratio 2 is to 3 x correspond to 2 and z correspond to 3 so to find x share it will be x ratio which is 2 over the total ratio times the amount they are sharing or the angle the sum of angle they are sharing and that will be equal to 2 over 5 times 100 degrees and when we do that we get x to be equal to 2 times 20 degrees hence x is equal to 40 degrees now this is the b part of the question if okay the this the b said we are simplifying 45 45 divided by 3 plus 2 times 8 minus 12 plus 42 so let's do that 45 divided by 3 plus 2 times 8 minus 12 plus 42 now we use board mass in solving this question but we know board mass um, division and division comes before multiplication so we can divide and multiply so let's divide and multiply then we add and subtract so you can do division and multiplication simultaneously so let's do that so what we divide 45 by 3 we get 15 2 times 8 we get 16 we maintain the others now we can subtract and add simultaneously but let's regroup this so that we can do it or we can understand the solution so this thing is the same as 15 plus 16 plus 42 minus 12 now 42 minus 12 i just swap their position so 42 minus 12 we can easily see that that will give us 30 and 15 plus 16 you know 15 plus 15 will be 30 so 15 plus 16 will be 31 and we can easily add 31 and 30 which will give us 61 thanks so much for watching this video video up to this point in fact please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and also our second channel thank you very much for your time